Street Park a park. And we writing grants and nobody, nobody came to the aid of Bay except Community Board 15. So when this grant came along and we saw a possibility of getting it, but we needed another part to the grant, and I was sitting at that meeting at ETO, I made two phone calls to my board, and it was a judgment call that to eliminate another piece of competition from us getting that grant, which we didn't get for our park, because Sheepshead Bay's waterfront is gone. While everybody was about their lives, 28 buildings were built on Emmons Avenue. The last piece of parkland we have is Brigham Street Park. So if Sheepshead Bay is going to be maligned, and we are a group that's over 16 years old for not doing anything the past five years and have bad things put out about us, we can handle it as a group, but as one group to another. I am the person in this room who bought Jamal's business here. I went on Joe Foy's radio station and I came out about Jamal. I am not about to tell ETO what they are to do as nobody else in this room should. I don't care who pulls votes out. I'm 59 years old and I remember driving on the Belt Parkway and seeing cars and boats and everything else in Gerritsen Creek and Plum Beach. I didn't care who pulled the boats out as long as they pulled it out because I swam in that water and I should have three eyes from swimming on Plum Beach. And if my kids want to swim on Plum Beach, I would let them. And I am very upset that Sheepshead Bay has been put in this position because Sheepshead Bay has always, always partnered with Garrison Beach. Jamal's property is on that street. We are just as upset as you are. We were at your meetings and we fought, we fought and we spoke. None of us make a dime. I frankly don't care who makes the money on pulling out boats. It's not my business. If this group wants ETO off that land, then you get them off that land. And if you want sheep at base support, I guarantee you that my board would definitely yeah. say, Jamal, get them the hell off. Get them the hell off. Right. I don't think that sheep at Bay Plum Beach deserves sure. to be besmirched by two gentlemen who have a problem that's personal. And as far as my son a lawyer, he deserves to make a living. He's got bills to pay. And as far as he wants to represent, nobody in this room should begrudge him the way you people shouldn't begrudge from pulling off a boat. And I resent the fact that you came into our meeting and Pearl Harbored us the way that you did without giving us the courtesy to speak. Because everybody who comes to our meeting who wants to speak has the right. But they don't come up to, to the dais and attack five women with words to let people speak. And those are my words. And Sheep said Bay's been around for over 60 years doing service, and we don't make a dime. All right, before Barbara, thank you, let me just make two points. One, uh, I have a lot of respect for you personally. I was at the December 7th uh, ceremony. We threw the wreath out onto the water. I was there for the plaque. The, uh, I was at that meeting. I would say how I would view it would be the sergeant at arms said you were not permitted to have come up before the days. I, you have to admit that that was a fact. That, that's what happened. Did I attack five women? You scared the hell out of us. I didn't attack five women. You scared My mother didn't raise someone to attack you five women. The, you came within two feet of me and scared the hell out of us. But then there is one other thing. It was you who enlightened me for about four or five years ago about uh, Lentnick and the property when Lentnick made a contribution to an organization at Garrison Beach. And you sent me a copy of the law in New York that if a person accepts money from a developer, or an organization accepts money from a developer, they may not testify against the developer. Is that true? Yes. yes. And it was you who sent that yes. to me by email. Yes. And it is that we are concerned about on this property. They have put a trailer here. We have had questions at these meetings for a few years now about the toxicity, toxicity of I that soil. I took the sample that was given to me here to try to have it analyzed from the beach. All right. And I just acquired some of the papers 
from one of the samples that was that was taken. So we're concerned about that. They put a trailer on this property, and if there is something wrong with that property, they cannot testify on our behalf as a community based on the law that you said to me. That's absolutely right. right. And so that's one of our concerns. That concern, and the other concern is, the one you expressed so eloquently, and we're all familiar with, I grew up here, I hate to admit my age, but I was 77 May 17. I remember when Knapp Street was a dirt road. I remember when I, my dog slept in the middle of the Knapp Street, and when I rode home from Korea and asked how the dog was, my mother told me, oh, they paved the street and he just couldn't get used to not sleeping in the middle of the street, and he was hit by cars. So I'm very familiar with this area, this parade. 28 buildings on Emmons Avenue. They have totally <coughs> demolished the community that existed in Sheepshead Bay. And that's what we want to prevent here. And the fact that some organization, if it was Garrett's and Beach Cares, they they were present, I believe, at the Clean, at Operation Clean Bay. Some of the men, Buddy DeWitt, yeah. Ray Schaefer, some of those people were, and they saw the results of some of the ignorance on the part of a couple of people that didn't know that why the heavy equipment was sinking in the marsh. It was too heavy, all right? And so that that's one of the issues. 28 buildings, you mentioned. We don't want to destroy the character of this neighborhood. It's being destroyed piece by piece, yes, it but is. it's still here. You're right. And You're absolutely right. We still right. have the people here. And if I had control over ETO, which I don't, I would have told them, are you out of your mind taking this man up on his deal to clean his property? But I am not my brother's keeper. I am only sheep said they. I am not going to presume to tell anybody what they're going to do with their trailer. But what I will do is, is, when the time comes, is I will fight just as hard as you to stop Jamal from doing what he's doing because it was the women of Sheep's Head Bay who were going to get sued $20,000 each by Jamal for putting the truth on our website as to what he was doing. And Jamal also brought a suit against Danny Kavanaugh. It's the same suit. It's with the defamation. same suit. Because we put out the same story. Same suit, because we put out the same story. And then it turned out, and this tells you something about the sterling characters of the people involved in a couple of different ways, and that is that his son, if I remember correctly, or someone, was someone hacked into Danny's site. And so Nobody that, knows who, but yes. We had five, a we had five days of 70 and 60 year old women being nervous as to whether they're going to be sued. And if my anger comes from anywhere, it comes from the fact that Sheep Said Bay has done nothing but good. If it turns out that ETO is what everyone here is saying, and if we had been told beforehand, this may not have occurred. But we can't go backwards. But I refuse to have my organization be dragged through the mud because of personal lawsuits and everything else. That's nothing not personal. the place. And that's not the time. And it shouldn't right. become personal to anyone's family no. or anything else. Right. To the George, George, to the okay. issue. If, let's talk about this property. Let's talk about what's going on right now. If the message is to EPO, we don't want you helping this guy out, you have his contact information. I say take a vote of your organization. I think that's the way everybody's leaning. Take a vote, send the letter. Do what you can to get off the property. I believe that they came into this with a little political naivete. They didn't know Stephen Jamal from a hole in the wall until I told them, basically. I think your organization will join you, I'm sure. We'll get all board directors on it as well, because we do have a relationship with them. We'll join you in whatever you need to do. And if you want them off the property, we'll work with you. We're not opposed to your organization. We've, we I, we've gone to, I've gone to Community Board 15 only recently, and your meetings, I know your problems you've had with both heads and everything you had to do over there, we've had the same issue. The problem with this property over